We all know travelling can be daunting, but I'm here to help you find your way and discover how liberating travel can really be. I'm Joseph. Let's plan a trip together. So, you've been given an appointment, you're heading to work, or you're off to an event, but there's one problem. You need to figure out how you're going to get to your destination. Perhaps there's a local train station or a nearby bus route. You can figure out where these are by simply visiting an online map service to work out how far they are from your destination. Once you've found a nearby train station, trainline.com and National Rail Inquiries are good places to start booking your trains. Or, if instead there's only a bus route, find the website of your local bus company and find the route on there. These services may also have an app, so you can search for times on your phone. Find the times that you will get there with enough time to consider traffic and delays. Return tickets can be a useful way to save money if you are coming back on the same route. If not, buy a single. Taxis are a lot more expensive, so are not ideal for daily travel. However, they are convenient for getting to rural areas or if you are out at late hours. Make sure to do all of these steps at least a day in advance, perhaps longer if you need to book train tickets on a busy route. If you're travelling early, set your alarm with enough time after to get ready. If you know about a journey well in advance, put it in your calendar to remind you when it is coming up. You're nearly at your destination, you're off the bus or train, and now you just need to find the building or location you are getting to. In advance, plan your route using a map, either online or physical. If a path you wanted to take is closed, follow any redirection signs. Also, check how to get into the building, or what department if it's a large company. Finding the reception is the best way to begin. Always double check what time you need to be there. Try to arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. If you're visiting with no specific time or appointment set, check the opening and closing times. Make sure you know where to find local facilities such as toilets. If you are there for a long time, you may need to plan for lunch or dinner, so check where local shops or restaurants are. Most places will have provisions for those who need help accessing the building or using the facilities, so ask for help if you need it or contact in advance if you have any questions. Make sure to check the weather for the day either online or on TV. It may seem obvious, but forgetting to take a raincoat when it showers or a hat and sunglasses when it's hot can be uncomfortable and even stressful. So don't take chances, double check the weather and temperatures. If it is sunny, make sure to put on a suntan lotion to avoid getting burnt. Take your wallet with some cash for anything you may need to buy while you're there, as well as house keys, transport passes and debit cards. ID may be useful for getting into certain places or proving your identity. Charge your phone and other devices in advance and take a charger in case you need to charge while you're there. Speaking of devices, you might want to download some music, films or podcasts onto your phone for entertainment on your journey. This can stop you from getting bored or even comfort you if you are nervous or stressed. Make sure to bring some headphones so you don't disturb the people people around you. You can bring your own food and drinks to fuel you through the day. This will usually be cheaper than buying food while you are there or going to a restaurant. Eating when you are hungry and drinking lots of water will help you concentrate, especially if you are there for a long day. Lastly, and most importantly, if you have any medication you need to take, then make sure to bring it with you. This can also include non-prescription medications such as sickness or headache tablets for those who are affected by these. Your council may be able to offer you a travel pass for discounted or free bus or train travel. These are designed to help those who have difficulties with travelling. Visit your local council's website to find out how to apply. National Rail offer a rail card for people aged 16 to 25, which offers a third off all train fares. This can save you a lot of money if you are a regular train user. You may also be able to buy a weekly or monthly ticket, which can save you money if you are travelling a lot in a week or a month. 
bus passes often have a starting and cut off time for when you can use them, so make sure to plan your journey around this. Take screenshots on your phone of your train or bus timetables and maps of the local area so you can look at them later. 